Hello, Internet Sister Root. They're watching this from home because this has already been uploaded. I'm at Yorkdale Mall and uh, I went to the Apple Store. Such a shame that the Microsoft Store pretty much, uh, yeah, the microphone's behind my, inside the mask. Trying to keep it uh, centered so you can hear me properly rather than me shouting too much. Hopefully it's not too loud. And I didn't do a sound check, so that sucks. So, I found out uh, myself that the Apple Store now does a totally supervised approach to anyone just browsing. I don't know if this is any, and they limit it to 15 minutes, which is obviously fine for anyone. And, you know, they kind of uh, gotten a bit obscene with that. So, supervise, what the fuck, but that's just their policy, so I'm not going to let that get in the way of anything. But, whatever. Some don't like the supervised approach, some don't care. And, well, the funky part is, uh, oh, fuck, I'm lost, or whatever. The funky part is, they will not let people boot their own third-party operating system on the Mac. And, uh, they're very aggressive with that. They never used to do that before, but then again, I was just asking all questions. I didn't bring my USB drive with me to even bother with that. And, uh, since most of them don't have regular full-size USB, standard-size USB ports, they have USB-C, I pretty much wasn't able to... Is that mic still there? Good. I don't want it to fall out. Yeah. I pretty much wasn't able to do that anyway. Because, you know, the USB-C port, I need an adapter, an OTG adapter, which I have. And, uh, if I don't have it, I can't do shit. The M1 chip, I doubt, is even compatible with Debian ARM. But I have yet to do a bit of research on that. Or whatever version of Debian, straight Debian, not uh, Ubuntu and all that. I gotta pretty much figure out if it'll even run on the latest MacBooks. Which I don't really give a shit. They're far too costly. And I got no intention of buying one. And during the supervised visit at the Apple Store, I was talking to an associate and I blew their mind. Yes, I actually blew their mind. And I'm pretty proud to say that. I didn't expect them to actually tell me that I blew their mind right out of their fucking head, but I did. <sighs> oh, at the fun part, uh, one of the desk desktop Apple devices I was using, the USB keyboard, which has a lightning port, which is so stupid it should have USB-C, battery was dead on it, and I pointed it out. Moved on to another one, battery was good. I don't know why they forget to charge their Bluetooth wireless keyboards. And, uh, they're a lot different than the older ones, which I have. It takes two AA batteries. Uh, what else is it to do? Shortly after, when I was glad to be out of that Apple store, no offense to anyone, I was, uh, going to see if there's any promotions at the Bell store for my internet services, because yes, I got into the TV and home phone, blah, 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 most people do, some don't, some whatever, I don't give a fuck. I realize my billing cycle is not until the third of the month, so, <laughs> that sucks. I'll have to wait until the third of the month, or the second at least, because that's when it ends, to check and see if there's another promotion. And holy shit, look what I just came across. This isn't a touch screen anyway. Oh no. Oh no. Oh well. <laughs> That's unexpected. Windows is experiencing an application error on one side, but the map on the other side is absolutely fine. So, blah blah blah, shit happens. Okay, uh. The other thing I was going to say... Please, microphone, stop shifting inside there. Okay. Uh, 
My bike's been out of service for the past month. Actually, since the middle of July, since the, uh, I think it was the 2nd or 3rd of July. And, you know, this sucks. I've been, uh, how do I put it, over the top frustrated at certain times. And I had no other choice but to purchase a Metro Pass. And, yeah, it's frustrating to not actually have your own, uh, method of transportation and have to rely on others to get around. It really sucks. So I've even been doing it for 10 whole straight years without a problem. Yeah, it sucks. So, what else can I do? What else can anyone do? Ah. So, yeah. Anyways, not really much else to talk about. Oh, if you're wondering what happened to my bike, the axle split in half. So, I had to walk at home. Thankfully, it wasn't about 10, 20, or 30 kilometers away. Because that same day, I was going to head to Steel. Stuffer in Steel's, but I changed my mind and headed home. I was on Western Road. You know, I detoured along Western Road and headed home. When I got to the stockyards, that's where it broke. And I was pretty much screwed if I was that far away. I would have had to walk all that way home. <sighs> There's my bike. And like others, won't fit on the bike rack on the bus. And I doubt I could get it on the bus in that condition. But the wheel easily pulled. I could have easily pulled the wheel right out of the socket. With no effort whatsoever. So... Yeah, that blatantly sucks. Anyways, I will talk to you later. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Next time I go to the mall, definitely bring in my laptop. Definitely bring in it. That way I have full portability and, uh, I don't care about lugging it around either. At least I'd be able to do everything without having to go into a supervised Apple store and all that. If you know what I mean. How miserable that can be. And, uh, as to the lockdown part that may be looming in September or October, because of that Lambda variant, you know, if it happens, I'm going to expect that. Because I've gotten too used to it. But if it doesn't happen, then, uh, and most of everybody gets vaccinated, then, you know, no more lockdowns. No more sensible lockdowns. And for fuck's sake, I hope people get vaccinated. Everyone, that is. Anyways, thank you for watching. Be free to subscribe. Doesn't cost a goddamn cent. Doesn't cost anything for that matter, not even an ad or an ad roll or whatever. Alright, peace out.